Hey, hello Gum here. Today I'll talk about this funny feature. Today I want to talk about doors, doors in Sweden. So when I first arrived in Sweden, it was very uncommon to see that doors in Sweden have so many things attached to it. So first of all, you have the doorbell directly built into the door, which I've only seen in maybe some older flats or houses in Germany, which uh, yeah was sort of nostalgic to me. It's not very common in Germany, while in Sweden it's pretty much... I've, I've never seen a door without these kind of doorbells. So second is this rotary switch. It's very interesting you guys in Sweden have these rotary switches at your door. I've only seen rotary switches in Germany when you're going to a toilet, but otherwise I've never seen these kind of rotary switches attached to a door which leads to, well, to a normal flat. The second, which is also very unique, at least in my point of view, is the fact that Swedish doorknobs, well, you can pull them up. So while you push them down to open a door, you can pull them up to have a semi-lock. So that's also very interesting, at least for me. When I first came around, pulled the doorknob accidentally up, I thought I damaged the door. So thankfully, my roommate told me that you can actually semi-lock the door when you pull it up. So. For me that was quite interesting and also, well, it's sort of some, some sort of culture, I might think. And um, I think the last matter of fact is that in Sweden doors are usually not locked at all. So that's very interesting because I thought like, okay, usually you're closing the door and then the door is closed, you know, it's locked. But in Sweden you have to use the rotary switch, uh, you have to put the key in or well, you have to close it in another way. But the thing is that Sweden is a very secure country and people usually don't have to completely lock up their uh, apartment. So it's very interesting. Uh, there was one story when I went to a house party and one of my drunk friends opened the wrong door and a complete stranger stood in front of us and asked us do we know each other in Swedish and this was when I realized fuck we got the wrong door when we got to the right door our Swedish friends told us that most people well they they don't really close and lock up their doors so I don't know what to think about this and the last point about this video is well staircases it's really interesting that in Sweden staircases have a different culture if I can say it like that. The fact is, as far as my Swedish friends have told me, if you go out of your flat and if you're standing in the staircase and another neighbor hears that someone else is in the staircase, they won't open the door. So you won't meet your neighbor in the staircase. And all neighbors and all people who live in that apartment or in this house, they try to avoid each other by listening first to the door or listening to the staircase before trying to exit their flat. So when I heard that I was a little bit surprised and a little bit shocked. But this has also something to do with the individualistic and whatever culture in Sweden exists about this kind of staircases. So a lot of people told me, yeah, they don't like riding the elevator with their so-called neighbors as well as um, they try to avoid them in the hallway or in the staircases. When my Swedish friends told me about this, I realized that until today, except for my neighbor who lives on the other side of the hallway, I've never met anyone else from that house in the staircases. And I sometimes heard doors opening and closing instantly in the staircase. So. Now, after I heard from my Swedish friends that this is actually a thing, uh, it makes it easier to actually, uh, well, to explain it. Well, this is pretty much it, what I wanted to show you and tell you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it and, um, well, we hear and see each other the next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Yours, Hella Gum.